Ford, what is it? See for yourself. Hello everyone, welcome back to more Psychonauts 2. Last time we reintegrated Ford's final fragment. And we were brought straight to this level. There's a grave marker for a memory vault here. I believe if you want that memory vault, you have to revisit this level. And I've made the decision, I don't think I'm going to go for completion this playthrough, I'm just here to show story. Um, I'm going to keep the mentality, uh, there's one streamer I like, and I remember he beat one really good game that I ended up buying for myself, but I didn't buy it for myself for a while. And I remember it's just like, if you want to see everything, get the game yourself, give these devs support. It's a good game, it's a fun game. Plus, if you really want to see everything, there's other people who, like would post all the memory vaults and stuff. Agent Crawler, I'm getting less sure I want to see this. Oh no, I don't think you'll want to see this at all. Was Ford a gravedigger at some point, or is this just a heavy-handed metaphor? What? I like the vibes of this area. Let's see, what do we... Tomb of the Sarcophagus. There is one baggage, and there is one half a mind. And the 20 fitness. with the deep six treatment I did what I had to do I loved her after all wait what someday when you fall in love you'll understand is um they just heard like a sad version of um Ford's theme from Psychonauts 1. Oh there's a half a mine on top of one of the sharks. Lovely. Which by the way, what a what a cool design. <laughs> to go free she was a danger to the world even though it was the world that made her dangerous lucretia where is she safe she's safe well she was but we all were <laughs> not anymore Bill. Looks like I can land on that shark from that next platform, so... First 
Oh, it's a pet tag. I thought that was half a mine from a distance. Ah, oh, well. Look, Ford. Whatever I'm supposed to know, just spit it out. I had to hide her from the world because they'd never forgive her. And I had to hide her from me because I'd never forget her. Where? Where did you hide her? She's with family. Doesn't seem like there's... Anything else except just slowly descend. No, 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 not again. Oh, it's a room. Grandparents Laszlo and Morona. They drowned in the Valermo Dam disaster, remember? What? No! Grandpa Laszlo died there, but Grandma made it out and came to live with my father. No, Raz. She didn't. Ford, I just saw her today. No, you didn't. With Maligula? She was defeated. That's it. I think I've collected every figment in this mine. Brought her back to the gulch. I put her in the astrobath, one of Otto's inventions, created to make permanent alterations to the psyche. And I used it to isolate and neutralize the part of her psyche that was a murderer? Problematic. And I had my Lucy back. Never forgive her, so I had to hide her somewhere safe. Oh no. I hid her among her family, Rasputin. Among your family. No, no, no! I projected memories and feelings on your father so he would accept her. Maligula? Yes. As your grandmother. No! Yep, that's the the big twist of the game. You know, because I'm not it's not a blind playthrough, you can't get a reaction out of me, but um when I first played I thought, wow, that's neat. That's um that's a something I didn't see coming. Listen, Raz. I know you're mad. My great aunt killed my grandma. And so you made us babysitter for 20 years? Now look it. You spring this news on your family now, their memories will unravel, and there's no telling how they'll react. So? They might try to kill her. If Lucretia is attacked, if she feels the need to defend herself, that dark spirit could reawaken inside her. Maligula really could rise again. You're right to be mad, Rasputin. I was young. I made a terrible mistake. But we need to deal with that after we get control of this incredibly dangerous situation. She's not there. Probably wandered off into the woods again. She keeps doing that. I know where she's going. 
the Psychonaut started out here, in the heart of the forgetful forest. There's a compound deep in these woods, protected from intrusion by psychic devices, traps, and illusions. I think Lucy's trying to get in, trying to go home. Remember, mad later, mission first. Now stick close. I'll show you how to get through. This is a very interesting situation, nonetheless. Also, wow, beaver loading screen, but starry background. This loading screen is new, and um, yeah, that's um a lot of those side quests that we were doing. That's I want to say the cutting off point. It's just um, there is a post game. Where it's like you see credits and you can keep exploring and it is after the story. And that's also a moment where you could do all these side quests, you can do all the completion. And from what I've been investigating and from what I've seen, if you want true completion, it would have to be after the credits. And that kind of doesn't sit right with me. Um, I'm here to show off the story and what the main content has to offer. Um, so as I said earlier, I'm not going to... Uh, I, it's like if, if you're if you're a completionist and this game is appealing to you and you have the means to play it, I totally recommend it. Agent Crawler, I hope I didn't lose him in the woods. So um, yet another lo hub, the Green Needle Gulch, original colony of the Psychonauts. Twenty-seven cards, two chests, and four challenge markers. So yeah, this area is a doozy. Wow. It's really all still here. The Great Needle Gulch. So much history here. I mean, this is where you assembled the team that would become the Psychonauts. This is where you first discovered Cytanium. Where Otto made his first psychoactive devices. Where Cassiopeia wrote her books. Where Helmut Fulbear workshopped his psychodicy. Where Bob Zanotto and Compton Bull pioneered communication with plants and animals. And where... where... I mean... This is where it all began. No, Raz. This is where it all ended. And I think I'll cut the video off there. That's another short one. But, um, yeah, we got up. Sorry, I'm just distracted by those sideways trees. Anyway, um, next time on Psychonauts 2, we'll be again exploring the Green Needle Gulch and see what there is left for us to do. If you've watched this far, thank you so much for watching, and have a lovely day. Hasta luego.